Hey guys, I'm trying to find things to gather around the house so I can play outside. Woo! Whoa. Okay, this ball is way too big. I'm gonna go find some more stuff. Ooh, this one is perfect. And a spiky ball too. Ooh, okay, let's go find some more items. Ooh, this little one's perfect. Okay, let's go outside now. Okay guys, perfect time to play. Wait, is it raining and thunderstorming? No, man, I have to go back inside. Oh man, I can't believe it's raining outside. I have to think of something to do inside. Hmm, I have an idea. Maybe I can ask Peck. Hey Peck, are you there? Whoa, hey Ryan, I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> What can I help you with? So, I wanted to play outside, but it started raining, so now I have to play inside. Can you help me with something to play? Oh, of course. You can count on me, Ryan. I'm gonna go ask Bree for some help on this experiment. Welcome to Ryan's world. <sighs> what a nice day to soak up some sun rays. Hmm. Huh? huh? <gasps> it's raining? <sighs> Luckily for me, I never go anywhere without my... <laughs> umbrella! <laughs> there, that's better. <gasps> oh, we better go inside before there's more lightning. Come on, come on. <gasps> Woo. <sighs> it is storming outside. Oh, hey, Bree. Perfect timing. I'm designing a lightning experiment for Ryan. Ka-chow. <laughs> <gasps> I know, we can harness the power of static electricity to build a lightning machine. Excellent! Go ahead and get started. Well, the first step is, we need materials, and I'm pretty sure we can find everything around the office, so... <laughs> now, I'm going to learn about static electricity after a quick power nap. <laughs> Woohoo! Party time! Now on cake! <laughs> I'm ready! Necessary materials? Oh, yeah, um... Ha! Huh, got it! Finish up your drink and let's get started! Sounds good to me! <laughs> Fancy scene transition! For our outside conductor, we're gonna use aluminum foil. The first step is to cut our foil to the length of the flat side of the bottle. Now that we have it cut, we're gonna tightly wrap it all the way around the bottle, making sure it doesn't crease or wrinkle. Then tape it in place, and then we're gonna secure the top and bottom. Next, we're gonna measure out our wire to make sure we have plenty of slack, like that. Then we're gonna cut it and strip off the ends. Now when using things like wire strippers, make sure to ask an adult for help. The second side of our wire is actually going to make contact with the aluminum foil, so we need to pull off all of that coating, like that. Now very carefully, we're gonna lay our wire down and make sure the copper wire makes good contact with our aluminum foil. Now that it's in place, we're gonna tape it nice and secure. Next, we're going to use the tip of the hot glue gun to melt a hole through our bottle cap. This is going to give us the perfect hole for our nail to slide through. Now we're gonna glue it in place. Here it is, we've got our lid with our nail glued in it. So the next step is we're going to add salt water. Ingredients are simple, it's just salt, lots of salt, and oh, water. 
We're going to fill it up all the way until it gets right past the tape. Whoop! Screw on our lid and shake it up. Perfect. And now we have our salt water made. But the nail is not actually making that much contact with the salt water. What we can do is we can add on more conductive metal to make this longer and give us more surface area for our salt water to touch. Now, because we're in the lab, I happen to have copper wire lying around, but if you don't have anything like copper wire or maybe a metal chain, you could always just tape some nails together and make it longer. As long as the metal is touching the metal, it'll work just fine. We are gonna use our copper wire and our state-of-the-art pencil to make our coil. So we're gonna start by wrapping around and around and around and around, but we got smarter, so now we're just rotating the pencil. That's a lot less work. Now that we have it all the way wrapped around, all that's left is to slide it off and boom, coil. We're going to tightly wrap our coil around the nail and secure it into place with some tape. And now it's time to add our coil to our experiment. <gasps> Whoa. And now we're making a lot more contact with our water to conduct electricity. Now all that's left on our build is to add the ping pong ball on top. But since we need it to conduct electricity, we're gonna wrap it in aluminum foil. We need to cover the entire ball with aluminum foil and get it as smooth and flat as possible. So keep smoothing a little more and there, that should work. When trimming our aluminum foil, we need to make sure that we have enough extra to go around the top of the nail. Then we're gonna smush it into place and secure it with tape, like that. Now we're finished with our build, which means the next step is to charge it up. Oh gosh, are you going to charge it without batteries? Oh, that's simple. We are gonna use this balloon. <laughs> Wait, huh? How is a balloon gonna charge it? Well, we're gonna use this balloon to generate static electricity, like this. Oh, static. Static electricity is generated when two surfaces are rubbing together like this. Now in this case, electrons are transferring from my head onto the balloon. Now because it has more electrons, the balloon becomes negative and my head becomes positive, which, as you know, opposites attract. So when you lift it, the hair is attracted to the balloon. Look at that hair go! <laughs> now that the balloon holds a negative charge, we're gonna transfer our negative charge to the inside of our bottle, like that. Now the inside of our bottle holds a negative charge, which is actually going to push electrons away from the outside of our bottle, and so the outside of our bottle is now positive. But because things like to be neutral, we are going to use this wire to connect the two charges together, which will neutralize both the inside and the outside of the bottle. In order to charge it, we need a lot more charge. Whoa, this is just like how lightning forms. Clouds are made up of water droplets and ice particles that all hold an electrical charge, both positive and negative. As these particles move around in the clouds, they rub together. The friction causes the positive and negative charges to separate, which creates a static electrical charge. The top of the cloud becomes positively charged, and the bottom becomes negatively charged. Because opposites attract, the negative charge of the clouds want to join the positive charge of the ground. But it's really difficult for electricity to move through the air. As the clouds continue to grow, the charges get more and more powerful. Eventually, the charge in the clouds is strong enough to release. The positive charge in the ground will jump up to meet it, and as the currents join, they create a bright flash known as a lightning flash. This is the same lightning flash that we will see between our wire and ping pong ball once the experiment is charged. Static electricity is forming around us all the time. Like socks rubbing on the carpet, 
a small shot from a door handle, and of course, lightning! <laughs> That's exactly right, Peck! Huh, my head started getting a little tired, so I've been using this towel that we found to generate static electricity, and it's working great! Let's give it one more charge! Huh, perfect! Now I think it's ready to test! All right. Whoa, did you see that? That was so cool. Now with this experiment, the more you charge it up, the bigger the spark is gonna be. Let's go for a super spark. <sighs> okay, but this is going to take a while. 10 minutes later. 99, 100. Whoa, that looks so cool. It's lightning in a bottle. Heck, you inspire me. I'm gonna go do some science experiments with items around the house too. Bye, thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Hmm. Ooh, that looks good for my experiment.